Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. Daniel Strong here with another Excel VBA is fun, exciting lesson. Okay, so you know that with a regular cell, you can fill a drop-down list. I'm sure you know this if you've been watching Excel is fun, Mike Gervin's awesome videos, okay. So you can create one of these by hitting Alt-DL for data validation. And you would select a list, and you would put the name of the either range, either A3 through A7, or in this case I named that range to be called Sweets List. Okay, um, so why in the world would you want to put a combo box that, uh, <coughs> from the ActiveX controls? Well, let's find out. Let's go into Design Mode from the Developer tab. Oops. Click on Insert. And we're going to do this funky looking thing called our combo box. What is that? I'm sure you've seen it a gazillion times. It is simply a drop down list, uh, just like you see on websites every day, a drop down menu. That's what a combo box is. I'm going to give this name uh, CMB for combo box. And you can call them anything you want. I just put these things at the beginning so I can remember what they are CMB Suites. Okay, enter. So this is called CMB Suites. That's what my combo box is called. Now, what? Uh, what's the point? Well, let's say you didn't only want to. Let's say you didn't want to fill it with this list, or you wanted to fill it with that and append that with a few custom things that weren't on your regular list, uh, or you only wanted. Let's say you only wanted it. You wanted to go through these and only take the one that ends with the letter S or only take the one that's five characters or more or whatever this is dynamic this you can only have whatever's in the list nothing more nothing less this is dynamic you can run a macro to fill your list box or your combo box excuse me so let's go ahead and double click on the combo box and get started okay let's see I'm gonna take these uh, other macros out because they were for the other sheets that I've just copied all right, CMB Suite change. So you notice whenever you click on, double click on a combo box, by default it's not a click, it's a change event. Because they assume you're gonna click on the drop down menu and change it to something else. There's other things you can do, but let's go over the change one. This is the most useful one. Hmm. Okay, I guess I was, I'm, I'm still in user formville here in my mind. I'm thinking that there is an initialize, but there isn't. Uh, I'm probably talking gibberish here, but let's put a button just for now. Uh, right click properties, let's give the caption a, a quick click here thing. <coughs> All right, we'll say click to fill. Okay, with a, with a user form, as soon as the user form is open, you can do an initialize thing where you can, I guess we could do that with the sheet activator workbook uh, workbook open event. Let's just do a button, make it real easy. As soon as I click this button, this, this uh, combo box is going to fill up with our criteria. So we'll go through each cell in the suites list here. Double click here. So we're gonna we're going to fill our combo box. <clears throat> and how we're we gonna do it? We're gonna say for each. We've talked about this. For each cell in and what was our? It was called suites list. For each cell in suites list, remember you need to do a next cell. Okay. If for every time you do a for each or for x equals blah blah blah, whatever you put here is the variable. This one's just called cell. You need to say next cell so it can keep looping through all of them. <coughs> for each cell in our list. What are we going to do with each one? We're going to say <sighs> we're going to take the last letter and see if it's the letter S. Just for fun. If uh, right, uh, if the rightmost character, comma one, okay, equals the letter S, then I guess continue. How about how about if it's not an S, we just won't, we'll just ignore it. 
no, 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 that's wrong again. If it equals s, then we'll tell it what we want it to do. We're going to say me.cmb suite, that's our combo box, dot add item. Add item is the big one here. You hit space and you tell them what you want it to be. So what do we want the add item to be? Whatever's in our variable, the cell or cell dot value would work to. We'll just say add item, whatever the cell says. End if. Okay. That'll actually do it. Scary, huh? You click the button and let's run through it once. Whoa. Click design mode. And when I click to fill, you notice I clicked right here on the gray, and that put a stop marker right there. So when I hit uh, F8 to debug, now the first cell in our list is cake. So when I hover over cell, it says, yeah, that's right. So if the rightmost one, not two or three, if the rightmost one character of the thing called cell is S, then, well, cake doesn't end with the letter S. So I skipped over that one. How about donuts? Ooh, yes. So now cmb.sweets is going to add the item, which is donuts. So it's added and you can't see it, but it's in there. Let's go to the next one. How about milk duds? Yep, we're going to add that one. We're going to add frosted flakes. And soda does not end in S, so it skips over that one. In sub, okay. So, let's see. Oh, look at there. Donuts, milk duds, frosted flakes. Check that out, huh? Now, but you'll notice this is going to happen if I click it again. It's going to keep adding items. It's not going to clear it out and then add them. So, uh, let me click the button again and you'll see what happens. If I hit F5 to complete that, you're going to see that it has actually added all those items again. Oh, what do we do? Well, there's something cool called... Uh, clear dot clear so let's click here every time we click on that we're gonna say right before this loop runs we're gonna say me dot cmb suites dot clear we want to clear out all the previous entries and then we want to refresh rerun this macro here so let's do that so take it off design mode click to fill donuts milk dots frosted flakes click again it cleared it and then reran the criteria. How about yeah, let's let's open that up again. Let's say if the rightmost thing is the letter E. Now click to fill. Ooh, it only has cake. Wow, that's cool. Okay, what else? Are we, what else did we say we're gonna do? I'm trying to remember. Okay, how about if the length of whatever is more than more than seven characters. So Alt F11 again. Let's get back at it for each cell in Sweets list. How about let's say if the length, oops, if the length of the cell, mercy, if the length of the cell is greater than seven, we could also say greater than or equal to, but we'll say if the length of the cell is greater than seven then add that item but it also clears it beforehand okay let's let's try that we got milk duds and frosted flakes so those are the only ones that are greater than seven how about less than seven how about less than or equal to seven click to fill only these ones are less than or equal to seven digits long what if I add a bunch of spaces to the word cake? Oh, you notice it's not there, so it counts spaces as a character. Alright, thanks for tuning in. We'll check out some more awesome things here. Oh, well, uh, bef before I do sign off, I want to tell you, we talked about what's the, you know, other benefits besides the fact that you can customize how to fill in your combo box. Well, uh, check this out. You can move them around. You can put them anywhere you want. You can make them as big or as little or weird shaped as you want. Um, you can move them in front of text, behind text, just like a just like an image, really. So, uh, very interesting. And they retain the the value that you filled them with last time, even if you're moving them around and putting them in design mode and whatnot. They retain whatever you filled them with last time. So. 
and a lot you can do with that. So, um, thanks for tuning in.